Here are the top news headlines for the day. Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone for the water supply project in Manipur today through a video conference. Speaking on the occasion, Prime Minister said that even as the country is fighting relentlessly against COVID-19, eastern and northeastern India had to also face dual challenges of heavy rains and floods, which cost many lives and rendered many homeless. Referring to the water supply project, which is being implemented at a cost of Rs 3,000 crore, he said that it would reduce the water problems of the state and would be especially providing a huge relief to the women of the state. He also said that apart from greater infall, the project would benefit 25 small towns and 1,700 villages in the state. The project has been designed keeping in mind the needs of the next two decades. DRDO has established a COVID-19 testing facility at the Lay Bay's laboratory, Defence Institute of High Altitude Research, Dihar, to enhance the rate of testing to identify the corona cases in the Union Territory of Ladakh. The testing facility will also help in keeping a close watch of the infected persons. The facility can also be utilised for training manpower for COVID testing and will be of great help to address the future bio-threats and carrying out research and development activities pertinent to agro-animal diseases. For the second day in a row, recoveries in a single day continue to post significant rise. India witnessed the highest ever single-day recoveries of nearly 30,000 with the total number of recoveries crossing 7.82 lakhs. Sustained efforts by the centre and states are resulting in more effective containment, aggressive testing and prompt and efficient clinical treatment strategies. During a virtual meeting of the G20 Digital Economy Ministers, Union Minister Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad spoke about how digital technology has helped the Indian government in providing relief to the economically weaker sections of the society by using digital innovations like direct benefit transfer and digital payments. He also mentioned that India is soon going to put in place a robust personal data protection law which will not only address the data privacy related concerns of the citizens but will also ensure availability of data for innovation and economic development.